Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Giant Iced Fovo Ice Cream Cake, our Australia Day edition of an Australian classic dessert. We're approaching Australia Day and there is nothing more Australian than an Iced Fovo Biscuit, which is marketed by Arnott's. It's a little crinkly sweet biscuit with a stripe of berry jam down the center, sprinkled with coconut and bounded by pink fondant. This is going to be our variation because it's summer in Australia at the moment and ice cream cakes are very popular. So we're going to leave one aside so we can get our colors right. We're going to match our ice cream to that pink color. First thing we're going to do is get a flan tin which is 31 centimeters by 21 and a half centimeters. It has a loose base in the bottom of it and essentially it's like a giant scale of the shape of our ice fovo. So just line that with a bit of baking paper and put it to one side. Then we get our thermo chef jug. You don't have to use a thermo chef jug for this. You could just use a rolling pin in a bag, but we're gonna keep one ice fovo aside. That's gonna be the cook's treat later. And we're going to get the rest of our ice fovos and just break them in half and drop them into our thermo chef jug. We don't wanna mash them into a too fine a powder because we wanna have a little bit of an obvious biscuit texture. And then we've just got some sweet biscuits. Now, these biscuits have actually got basically icing and jam on them. If you had two packets of biscuits in here, it would be far too sweet. So we've just got some normal sweet biscuits. Any sweet biscuits will do. Same thing, just break those in half as well. And that's going to be mixed with some coconut oil and lining our base of our flan tin. So lid on and we're just going to pulse this until it's a medium crumb. Speed five for 10 seconds and this is what you should have. You can see the biscuits are well broken up now with little pieces of the icing sugar and the jam visible. Now we're going to add our coconut oil. Now I'm not going to melt the coconut oil because it's sort of semi-liquid at this stage. By the time it's all pulsed, it will be well and truly mixed in. You could melt it if you're in a climate at the moment that requires this to be melted just soften it but this will this will mix in really really easily because it's, it's just beyond liquid at the moment and that coconutty flavor will blend well with the biscuits and give it more of a coconut flavor but it also will set really really hard in the ice cream so it'll stop it from going soggy so we're just going to mix that around and then press it into the base of our tray now we just get our baking paper scrunch it all up and that will make it really quite pliable it won't affect its effectiveness at all and then push it back into the base and what that will do it will follow the contours of those little ripples and pretty well stay in place because this is a non-stick pan and it's just going to want to slip everywhere otherwise so it's in with our crumbs that have just had 10 seconds on speed one to fold through that coconut oil okay now we just tip our biscuit crumb mixture in spread it all around and we're going to press it in with a straight sided glass just scrape that all out the bottom put all the mixture in there and now with a straight sided glass or a big flat spoon we just press this out as firmly as we possibly can and pop it into the fridge or the freezer to firm right up. You can see these little ice vovo biscuits have all smashed up and they're going to give this a lovely ice vovo sort of flavor. Now I don't know what biscuits would be suitable for a substitution in this recipe if you can't get hold of ice vovo biscuits. If anybody's got any ideas about that don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below that will help people to source some biscuits that would be suitable in the country of their origin. Okay, now just press it down nice and firm and into the fridge we go. And now it's on to the filling component of our ice fovo ice cream cake. So into a stand mixer we're just going to pour some icy cold cream. It's really, 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 really quite chilled. Now we're going to whip this until soft peaks form, adding a couple of drops of rose pink food coloring and a couple of drops of natural identical strawberry flavoring to taste and to get it as close as possible to this light pink color. Whip it gently. Okay, after a few short minutes, seconds actually, we've got softly whipped cream here. I'll show you the consistency of that so you'll know what we're talking about. See, this sort of, there you go. Now we're going to use a, a half a can of sweetened condensed milk. Now if you can't get that where you live, we have a recipe for it on our channel. So we're just going to send in about 200 grams of that, along with about a half a teaspoon of our strawberry flavoring. This is also going to be to taste, so you can adjust it a little bit later on, but do it now so that it gets a chance to mix right through. You don't want to over mix this once it's done. And then a couple of drops of our rose pink food coloring. Now food coloring and I aren't the best of friends, so uh, we're just gonna be very, very careful here. A couple of drops, it's gonna be too much but anyway. Let's see how that goes. Okay, now we just whip that in now until it's nice and firm. And that's pretty well what we're looking for. It's nice and firm now. Our colour's pretty close as you can see. See there's 
of colors there that's pretty close okay now just make sure it's all well and truly folded through and we're going to spread this mixture on top of our chilled base now just get a teaspoon just taste it to make sure it's got enough sweetness and flavoring but don't forget the base is really quite sweet and it's also having jam on top as well mm. That's good. Very good. You don't want the ends chasing you. Okay, just scoop it up onto our chilled base now, which is really quite firm. This is really rich and creamy. And just spread it all out. Don't worry about going too close to the edges because we want to have it a little bit in from the crinkly edge, like on the biscuit. Just spread it out as best as you can, almost to the edge. Now, as you can see, we've smoothed it out. We've drawn it in from the edges a little bit. Don't worry too much about it being too perfect because look, this is crooked and it's factory made. So homemade's supposed to have a few imperfections. Now, what we're gonna do now is draw a, I might make a bigger dent actually, for perspective. We're gonna draw a line down the center of our ice cream cake and fill it up with raspberry jam. So, or raspberry and strawberry actually. So just draw a line through the center like a dent and come from the other side because you don't wanna drag that little peak over there. And now we're just going to put our strip of strawberry jam down the center. Okay, we're just going to use a Ziploc bag. I have actually got a perfect little piping bag that would have done this job admirably, but my kitchen's being renovated at the moment and I can't even look like getting to it. So just pop that into the corner. I'm giving it a bit of a stir so that it's a bit more of a pipeable mix. I haven't strained it. Just squeeze that down to the bottom, right down to the bottom. Cut the tip off there and we're just going to pipe it along there. You ready? Okay. Firm, even pressure, straight down the center. And there you have a giant ice vavo ice cream cake. Now, looking pretty close at this stage, wouldn't you say? Because it's all to scale, they've used desiccated coconut here and that's really quite fine. It's going to look like dust on top of it. So I'm going to use shredded coconut because I happen to like the texture of it. So we just sprinkle that all over the whole lot. Not too much on the jam for the simple reason that it will discolor the jam before it gets a chance to freeze. And jam won't freeze hard anyway. As little or as much coconut as you like. And there you have a Cheeky Richo's Giant Ice Vovo Ice Cream Cake, our Australia Day edition of an Australian classic dessert. Hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo playlist of Australia Day recipes. And there's plenty more to entice you to come back and to subscribe. Do come back and visit us again and thank you very much for watching. Okay, a giant ice fovo ice cream cake is frozen solid. We're just going to remove it from the tray carefully. It's very slippery. And there you have it. Looks pretty authentic, doesn't it? A little taste, shall we? Just slice it. We get half a vovo each. Have a little taste, shall we? Some of our jam and some of our filling and some of our base. It tastes like a giant ice fogo ice cream cake. Very mouth-watering. Thanks for watching. Don't just tell me about it. Let me eat it.